Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is about unboxing Mi Electric Scooter Pro 2 from Xiaomi, if I pronounce it alright. And I decided to create a video that a little bit different from all other videos that I found on internet about um, this scooter. First of all, I would like to make an assumption that I never ridden one of those before. This is my first time, this is my first scooter, and I would like to do unboxing from, not as a review, but from point of someone who totally new to all electric scooters and have no idea what is inside the box. I know there's a scooter, but the way it comes in, what's inside, how to assemble. I would like to take you on that journey and discuss what my feelings as a consumer. Uh, so <clears throat> if you buy one, excuse me, <clears throat> if you buy one, you, what you can expect as a first time user or maybe second time user um, to deal with when you open that box. Before I start, I would like to mention that um, I may buy spare parts based on my research um, uh, further on. So the difference between this scooter and many others, it has inflatable tires. They are awesome, they are squishy, but um, people report in punctures and if you're halfway through your journey, you may not want puncture. As a sacrifice for quality of ride, you may buy punctureless tires and replace those ones. Uh, everything that I do buy, I buy on Amazon, so I'll put links down below. And if you would like fancy version of that scooter, there's an amazing version of the Koa, I think Mercedes version or AMG, I don't remember what, but that same version just in uh, with Mercedes kind of badge. And I think they um, put uh, ABS brakes on it and other improvements. I'm not sure what, but it looks very fancy. I put link down below as well, check it out. And if you wanna buy any parts or even a Mercedes version of that scooter, there's a you know easy click down below, one click away, you you got your beautiful device. Anyhow, uh, <clears throat> first of all, why did I buy this scooter and not any others? Um, so when this called Scooter Pro 2, that's a bit deceptive because the previous scooter was almost exactly the same as this one. There's a couple of small improvements, but it's more kind of evolution. It's not a revolution. So um, my point being, it's the very robust build that proven through many years that it works well. And they only tweak those bits that people desire to be improved. So. Because of that, I'm counting on scooter's reliability. It's a reliable version. Also, um, another reason is we in Australia, we're limited to a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour. So considering, and look, you can hack your scooter and you can increase the speed. That's not what this video is all about. The video is about assuming that you don't hack top speed. It's a, one of those scooters that has a quite significant range. There's not many scooters out there that would do 45 kilometers of range. This, the multifunctional panel is uh, uh, all right. There's nothing fancy about this. It's just very functional. You've got smart application to control your scooter. I guess many of them do, but Xiaomi uh, improving all the time. You've got disc brakes and you've got a uh, regenerative uh, braking system, which is good that you can put some juice back into battery. And uh, even though in plain English it makes no sense, aviation aluminum alloy frame, uh, I guess they try to emphasize that the frame that the scooter made is of quality um, actually has no any meaning of aviation aluminum. Uh, and shock, shock absorbing uh, inflation tires, Look, it's um, as much as it's a good thing. It's not. It's not that fancy. Uh, I wish they would put suspension on. The other brands do. But you know what? For that price point that I bought this scooter, it's quite a good one. 
By the way, um, because it's my first scooter and I don't know if I like it or not, um, I'm in Brisbane, Australia. If you're in Brisbane and if you... Because I bought, honestly, I bought this scooter just to try and review. If you're keen to buy one at slightly reduced price, it's totally new with two years warranty, send me a private message uh, with your price point and if it's acceptable, I may sell you this one because I don't know if I need one. Just wanted to try out and review and see how it goes. Right, so the scooter was delivered yesterday because I wanted to do full unboxing. I did want to open it and then say, hey, that's how it was. So I will start opening in front of you and please excuse me um, if things are not going smooth because I have no idea what's inside. I'll create a couple of other videos, so today will be only unboxing. Next video will be assembling or put it all together because I don't believe it comes in the whole size, so the part needs to be assembled. I'll take you through that journey. The third video would be my first impression of ride, ride quality, and my perception as a person that never ridden scooter, electric scooters before. And the fourth one will be just final thoughts of conclusion if it's worth it. Uh, what it is and other one. I'm not sure if I create a fourth video, but definitely first one unboxing today Second will be assembling and third the first try. All right, let's start um, Opening up and see what's inside the box. So I just walk you through first of all there's the two uh, Packaging uh, Wires that you can cut off um, So we cut them off and then I believe the box opens up. Yes, it opens up easily. And I think there's instruction here. There are instructions on top of the box. So let's see what they say. It's a bit of upside down. And the first they say remove the scooter holder. So it has a holder on top. Then take electric scooter out. And then and then it will be assembly. So what I'll do today, um, I will take the scooter out, I will show you parts, I'll show what's inside packaging and create separate video of assembly and operation, okay? So let's open it up. All right. So this is how it comes in. Um, I'm not sure if it's visible. You've got a couple of... Uh, Alright, so that's the compliance paper. Make sure that the scooter compliant with your country that you're operating in. This is another compliance paper. I need to read it later. Now, on top here, you've got... So this is one of the top parts that was there. You've got a um, book and Allen key. It's actually quite quality Allen key with a proper handle. So that was in a pocket of that type of um, um, squishy form on top. So that's the one side. The other side, it just squishy form to make sure the scooter not getting bumped during transportation. Then, okay. So that's another form that was on the side, and here we've got, uh, alright, so here we've got cable, so this is Australian version of the cable, and uh, the tyre inflator, I guess because it has a small tyres, it's quite important, so let's put it on the side, and that is your charger so you've got the power cable that plugs into the charger and charger itself so so far we've got a uh, uh, declaration of uh, compliance we've got charger and we've got uh, allen key and all the forms aside uh, now also what we've got here before it gets good oh that's awesome that's the um, 
That's a carton box here, but in a carton box they give you a spade tire and a tube. Actually, it has a um, tube inside ready to go, so if you need to replace tire, that's the tire right in the package. And that's actually quite generous. So they give you a scooter, I believe, with two tires, an extra spare tire in the Pro 2 version of the boxing. mostly assembled what is not assembled is um, let me remove the plastic a bit so I think the handlebars are assembled and it's kind of flimsy at the front um, but everything else is done so what I'll do I'll just put it aside and that will be my next video about assembling the scooter is there anything else? Now there's a, another form that kind of wheel arch that was affixed inside the box. And yeah, another button. And I guess uh, silica, so uh, it won't rust. I'm not sure why it would rust if it's all aluminium, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Actually, I'm quite impressed. The packaging is very solid. The scooter, uh, I know, I'm just looking at the first impressions. Um, the build is quite solid. I mean, uh, not just build, the finish. There's no rough bits. Um, it's very, um, it's very robust. That's actually quite impressive. Uh, there's nothing in there. I was not sure what to expect, but um, by the look of it, it's actually quite uh, quite a good build. Well, I think it's enough for the first video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to express any opinions that I did not mention how my unpackaging went. Uh, and what else would you like to know about um, Xiaomi? Mi electric scooter pro 2 all right if it's your first time on my channel please subscribe so you won't miss any other videos on my channel including assembly and first ride and i would appreciate if you hit the thumb a uh, thumbs up uh, it will help me to promote my videos and help other people to find my videos and also click the notification bell um, so you'll be notified for other reviews and other health uh, tips that I put on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.